Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this message. And also you guys, this is gonna be a timeless channel message for the collective. Timeless means it does not matter when you watch this video. You see this when you are meant to see this video, okay? You can come next year, two, three years from now, and if you're seeing this video two, three, two, three years from now, that's because there is messages in this video for you. It's something here that you guys were meant to see, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and clear out, um, clear out any nasty energy i want to welcome in my divine ancestors of the pure white light into my energy into this reading into my sacred space my guardian angels into my energy as well i accept they guard um guard the spiritual doors known and unknown right so that i won't let any nasty sneaky line energies through my um my portals my spiritual doors all right i ask that it be none of me all of you holy spirit let's go ahead and get into this message Let's start with, I just got this little mix up. Let me put some, um, let me cleanse my hands real fast. All right. Okay. So give me messages for the collective. Your soul has returned to learn many lessons, so... You guys are literally here to learn um, as many lessons as possible, things that you haven't learned from pr from previous reincarnations here. So it looks like, you know, you guys are on. Um, I heard a new timeline, like new timeline, same story. That's what I'm getting here. So something happened in a previous reincarnation. Um, you didn't you didn't learn this lesson. All right. So you're here to do this again. So sun energy here, Leo energy, leadership, happiness, creativity, confidence, spirit, ego, self-awareness and expression. So some of you guys literally came back to follow your heart. All right. With the golden heart energy here, maybe in the last lifetime, you didn't get to follow your heart. Like something happened and you didn't get to um, do what make made you happy. You didn't get to like do something creative, you know, or maybe you went through some trauma and your creative side was blocked off in this lifetime. Also, maybe you didn't even know who you really were. Like it's something about you not stepping into your full power with self-awareness here and expression. I feel like something traumatic happened to you in a previous reincarnation and you know, it dulled your light. Somebody put your light out in a past life. I feel like you had a really good heart then with the golden heart energy. All right. Really loving individual, really loving spirit that I feel. And I feel like you did not speak up for yourself. All right. You let someone silence you in a previous lifetime collective. And in this lifetime, you're here to you're here to reclaim everything that was stolen from you. Yeah. North node under the deck. That's what this is about. You are supposed to be a star. Something happened in a previous lifetime and you didn't get to shine. You didn't get to follow your your life's purpose here. Yeah. Like you guys have a big spirit, a big light, like beautiful soul, you know, very confident. But somebody took you off of your path. Someone someone silenced you guys. Something happened and, you know, you fell off your your path and you didn't get to follow you didn't get to complete your mission in a previous lifetime. You didn't get to be seen. You didn't get to be heard. And I'm getting like the day that you die, the day that you transition, this was on your heart. This was on your heart. This could have been a jealous because I'm picking up like strong energy of jealousy. Like, I feel like this was a very, a very jealous individual that could have could have um, dimmed your light. OK, like this person, like I don't they didn't steal your destiny, but they made sure that you didn't get to it. Like they did something because I did hear destiny swap, but I don't believe that you can take somebody's destiny for real. Like, but I do believe something happened and you kind of bought into it. Ultimately, you handed your destiny over. That's kind of what I'm getting, because, you know, with this type of power, like can't nobody take nothing from you for real. 
Like maybe you were tricked out of your destiny. You came in this lifetime. I'm getting like to take reclaim everything to take what was stolen from you. You're going to be a star. You're already a star. Yeah. And no, no lie. I feel like you've experienced you've already experienced a lot of challenges as, as well, because I feel like it's the same karmic energy that's trying to stop you from fulfilling your destiny and your purpose of being seen or being heard or being a celebrity, being a legend, being a well-known influencer. Or you're supposed to influence the world. I'm hearing like Hollywood Walk of Fame or something like that, like rock and roll hall of fame or you're going to have a star in Hollywood or something like you it's this is it's this big whatever it is your whatever your purpose is you're going to be the greatest and there's this karmic interference that I keep feeling in this this energy here who's been jealous for lifetimes but in this lifetime this will come into fruition Maybe divine didn't allow it to like, you know, maybe divine allowed it to happen in the last lifetime because there was more lessons that you needed to learn. But big Leo energy here, the sun in Leo, baby, you are a star. Like you literally wear the crown for real. And you, people be jealous of this energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you guys always experience people in your life trying to make something hard for you. So no matter what it is that you you're setting your sights out to do, I feel like you guys run into a lot of obstacles or like people, whether they know that they're intentionally doing this or not, they are energetically acting as your karmic doing things to block you from getting to this, to this, this ultimate purpose, this ultimate destiny, your highest timeline. You got people around you, friends, family, lovers who are literally like your spiritual ops. Yeah. And some of them, they don't even know that they're doing this. They don't even know that that's their assignment. It's to block you from getting to your highest timeline. Wow. All right. Tell me more. You guys have a big spirit, big spirit. Some of you guys like I heard I hear that people say that you are like arrogant or you got a big ego. I heard got a big ego. It's too big. It's too wide. It's too strong. It won't fit. It's too much. You walk, you talk like this, but you can bag it up. Yeah, like somebody don't like how you talk. You talk big shit. You know, and they think like, oh, you're always bragging da, 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 da. No, you're confident. You're just a confident person. Like it, this energy is not, it never gave arrogant. Like this is not like, I, I know some arrogant people in real life. This isn't arrogant. You guys are just, you speak with authority. You speak with assertiveness. You say what you mean. You mean what you say. You guys are like natural leaders. I heard rise and shine. Rise and shine like you guys are about to go through like another awakening or rise like the Phoenix and you guys are about to shine. So I don't know what this is that this karmic energy could have taken you guys through. But you guys are about to rise and shine. I don't know what happened and you guys feel like you just kind of like fell off your journey. You fell off your path. You fell behind. But man, you guys are about to rise in like a major way. Like I'm. Um, you, it's like you're about to go from being, let's just say you got a channel, right? And things were going good. It was progressing good. Then something happened, distraction after distraction. And then you wasn't able to record as often. And, you know, your subscribers kind of slowed down or something. You know, I don't know, like, but something is about to happen. I heard something about a transit or something. But something is about to happen where you guys are about to rise and shine. You're going to go from being wherever you are to, like, a thousand steps ahead overnight, like just like that. It's like divine is about to put you back into alignment, like put you. It's like I'm kind of getting you're about to skip the line because somebody who was in karmic energy did something to slow you down. 
so that you will fall behind. So like rightfully, divine is about to put you ahead of everybody else because that's where you're supposed to be anyway. You're a star. You're the sun. Then we have Aries here. Fiery, bossy, daring, warrior, impulsive, macho, selfish, assertive. Didn't I say you're assertive? <laughs> yeah, you speak with assertiveness. Fearless, bold, competitive, short-tempered. For real, some of y'all patients have just like ran completely out as far as like dealing with people. Like you don't even have to be a fire sign for real, but you are embodying this big fire, big passion, big bravery, big confidence type of energy here. Straight fire. Like I will burn all of this shit down to the ground type energy. Yeah. So with the short temper energy that's here, y'all, y'all not playing with people no more. Y'all are setting strong boundaries and you're sticking to this energy. You are. Some of you guys, maybe you feel you've been guided to become more selfish because with this golden heart energy here, you are normally selfless. But maybe you guys have dealt with a lot of karmic people who just take and take and take from you. And now you guys are like learning to like stick up for yourself with this warrior energy, Aries energy here. And you you have learned that maybe, hey, I need to be a little bit more selfish. I need to give less of my energy to people and like make them earn it. Stop being so readily available. Stop giving your last to people all the time. Y'all be having people who be trying to compete with you too, for real. And they lose every time. And it's crazy because you don't even imagine losing to somebody who don't even know that you're competing with them and you still lose. Like that is crazy to me. So y'all have people who compete with you and they don't even know, you don't even know that they're competing with you and they still lose. Hmm. Thank you. And I'm going to take this too because I saw it. Psyche. The number 16 could be significant. It says breath of life, the essence of the soul, beauty, transformation, and unconditional love. Wow. So you guys are like the, the embodiment of unconditional love. You breathe life into people for real. It's something about like, your pureness, you are pure deep down in your essence, deep down in your core. The essence of you is pure. You're beautiful inside and out. And you truly do give people unconditional love. You really do. All right. But I just feel like y'all just meet a lot of selfish, narcissistic, competitive people. Because they can't, they feel as though they can't reach the heights that you are at or, or they see something on you that you may, may not see yet on yourself. And they start competing with you. They start attacking you. They start doing things to like delay you. These are karmics. And it's crazy. They're, they literally have like a contract on their soul with the enemy to block you, stop you from getting to your north node, to your highest timeline, something that was written and destined for you. And maybe in a past, in a past life, I'm getting that somebody was successful. No, they say you just gave up. In a previous lifetime, you gave up because you were tired, but not in this lifetime. You are, you're coming through straight, throwing them bows. You're not playing with people. You're not playing with nobody. You, are, you guys are literally fearless. You're fearless as hell in this lifetime. I don't know what has happened thus far, Collective, but I'm getting this fearless, bold, I heard dangerous people better not even much play with you. Cause you, I heard I'm, I'm coming back with vengeance. You guys are, you reincarnated with vengeance this time. I heard all power. You guys are more powerful in this lifetime than you were in any other lifetime. Libra energy. You could be a Libra. It says love, balance, indecisive, sweet, peaceful, diplomatic, graceful, partnership, aesthetics, truth and charm. So listen, in this lifetime, the scales are going to be balanced. Libra is about truth, honesty, and, and karmic justice, literally divine justice. Oh, y'all know what I just got? 
Y'all came in this lifetime to be, I heard vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Divine literally sent you back to be walking karma. So anybody from your previous lifetime that did something to you, that, that blocked you from getting to your North Node, you came back to avenge yourself in this lifetime. But you have divine clearance to do this. And, and, and I'm not talking about avenging yourself, meaning like, you like doing spell work and stuff like that. No, simply by you being in these people's life and you shining as brightly as you do. You guys probably like chosen one North, North star energy, North no energy, simply by these karmics from your past lifetime, seeing you guys win in this lifetime. And these people are in miserable positions, broke, busted and disgusted. You are literally avenging yourself in this lifetime. You are elevating past these whores and you guys are elevating past these losers in this lifetime. And I, I, I get a strong feeling like whoever these people are that I'm channeling, they did attempt in this lifetime to stop you again. They did something to attack your character, right? To break your heart, to like even physically take some of y'all out of here. Like these people, these karmic energies, these karmic souls were working really hard to completely destroy any chance of you fulfilling your life's purpose in this lifetime y'all not playing beast mode in this lifetime y'all are not playing okay you guys so something really not want this message to get out because i didn't delete so much stuff off my phone and it's still saying that something's going on with my storage so we just gonna keep going with this message here. So tell me more. What more do the do um the collective needs to know? So we have six house energy. It says health, diet, daily routine, service work, habits, pets, fitness skills, organization, and detail. Okay, this is earth sign energy here. So you guys may be an earth sign. So right now we have earth. I'm looking at some air energy. I'm looking at fire energy here okay so you guys could be working on your personal health right now getting your getting your your mental physical spiritual health all the way together collective getting your life organized working on that look under the deck is aquarius energy here so heavy air again you guys are like like aliens all right star seed energy you guys are innovators unique electric Free, radical, diverse, and edgy, futuristic, detached. You guys are naturally probably detached, or maybe you're just detaching from people. Like maybe you're not even naturally a detached type of person. But whatever this, whatever this is that you guys came here to fulfill, it may require you being alone in this lifetime. I'm just gonna say that. Some of y'all, you're not supposed to have a big, like a crowd around you because literally the vine absolutely knows that these people want to take you out of here and they're going to come in the form of fake friends, fake lovers. Okay. Blood family doesn't always mean like blood. Blood just means you're related to these people for real. Sometimes your real family, maybe y'all finding out like maybe your real family is just like people from your soul tribe, you know, who's truly there for you for real. You know, y'all detaching from a lot of people and you're working on your health, you're working on your fitness, you're working on your goals, you're working on your soul. Y'all about to bring some type of dream into reality here. Something you guys have only like dreamed of. Whatever this was, was a dream in a previous reincarnation too. And like I said, something happened. Somebody did something, Okay. A hater did something to you and, and knocked you off your path or you just gave up. Dreams, imagination, magic, visions, spirituality and escape. Yeah, y'all literally be here physically, but spiritually, you're not here for real. Like some of y'all need to get grounded because you are so spiritual. You guys spend so much time in the spirit realm, in the astral realm. OK, in the 5D and up. That you guys are like, I'm here, you disassociate. You ain't here for real. You here, but you ain't here. You're living like literally on a whole nother plane for real. So you guys are being called to ground yourself. That's going to help you be more like accumulate more earthly abundance. If you, if you know what I mean. You guys are also being asked to trust your feelings. Trust your feelings. 
It says, trust your feelings, not using logic, go with the flow. Subtle changes, psychic dreams, intuition, and emotions. Yeah. Trust your feelings about an air sign that's going through like some type of karma. Saturn return. It says paying your dues, wake up call, time to grow up, clearing the past, facing the truth and aging, strip down. So there could be like an air sign or someone with heavy air in their chart, y'all. You could be an air sign, but y'all, there's somebody who's going through their Saturn return for real, who's getting a wake up call. You're being called to trust your intuition on this. If you feel like, and this person don't have to be an air sign for real, but they're coming out as airy. So this person could be an Aquarius. They could be a Libra energy here. But this person is like normally very distant, very aloof. This person is finna get ready to get a wake up call. Okay. This person's about to get the wake up call of their life. This person may start communicating this to you or whatever this, whatever this is, divine may communicate this wake up call to you that this person's going to go through. Your spirit team is going to communicate this wake up call to you. This person themselves, once they get this wake up call, like I think this person finna be like blowing your phone line down. This is someone who normally makes a head over heart decision. They're very aloof. Y'all, this is a matter whose head is always in the clouds. This is a dreamer. So if you've been dealing with somebody that's like distant, super distant, like a Libra, an Aquarius. Okay, they don't have to be. They could be a fire sign. And this person was struggling to awaken. This person is going to awaken in this lifetime. I don't think this person is awakening any other lifetimes. This is a major event. Why do I think that y'all has something to do with this person's awakening? Yeah. Because y'all literally could have sacrificed y'all selves to, to awaken this person. Y'all showed this person so much compassion, so much love, so much enlightenment. You were like spiritual paradise for this person here. Something you said, something you did, or maybe you stopped doing something. Maybe you pulled all of this divine energy away from this person. And you yourself could have been just what this person need, needed. Just what this person's soul needed, the wake up call that this person needed. Somebody's getting a wake up call. Somebody's about to be stripped down. When I tell you stripped down, they are not there. This person's not the, they're not about to have anything. They're not about to have anything. This person is going to lose everything. Because something from the past that they did not clear up is something from their past that they were supposed to clear up. And maybe they did something in a previous lifetime to you and they didn't clear this. This could have been the person that that blocked you from getting in your north node in a past life. Maybe you sacrificed. OK, y'all, I have literally had to change devices. That's crazy. So I'm about to do some editing to like piece this together. But let me try to remember where we was, okay? Because it, it, my phone had cut off again. But there's an air sign or someone with heavy air in their chart. Or this person just could be, I heard heartless. This is, per, this is somebody who's normally very heartless. Maybe you call this person out for being heartless. But this person is aloof. They always make head over heart decisions here. This, this, this man or this woman is about to, about to be in motion. I, I don't know what kind of motion they finna be, but they, I heard motion in the ocean. That this person's finna be in their feelings. Yeah. Whereas maybe this is normally somebody who don't get in their feelings that often. Something is finna be done. I'm hearing divine orders. Something is about to be done in. This person is about to go through their Saturn return. They are about to lose everything. They have some karma that they have to pay off. It says paying your dues, wake up call, time to grow up, clearing the past, facing the truth, aging and strip down. Divine is about to strip this person down. And this is an Aquarius energy. This could be an Aquarius. This is going to happen to this could be a Libra sun Aries energy here. Okay. A, a water sign or it could be any sign y'all but it's about to go down for somebody divine is about to strip this man or this woman down to nothing to get their attention chiron energy here healing souls wounds pain grief i'm sorry gifts cleansing spiritual growth teacher wounded healer amends and illnesses yeah this person was supposed to make amends 
with somebody. They were called to make amends with somebody, okay? If this is if this is you, this person was supposed to make amends with you. They were supposed to heal an old wound between y'all, an old rift between y'all. They could have did something to y'all in a past life too and they never fixed it. They never fixed it. And this lifetime, they were contracted, like they made a promise. This person promised divine that if they, if God let them come back and be in your life again in this lifetime, that they were going to fix something and they didn't. This person betrayed you again. And you came back, you came in this person's life as a teacher. You yourself may be like a spiritual teacher or something. You, you are definitely a healer. You a healer. <laughs> Somebody's favorite color could be purple, green, pink. Black, somebody's favorite color is black. But yeah, you guys literally was placed in this person's life to help them to grow spiritually for real. And this person just kept turning it down, rejecting it. Useless. This person thought that what you had to offer was useless or that you were useless to them. This person caused you so much pain and grief. And because of the immense amount of pain that this person took you through. I'm getting like Gabriel's horn was blown. God was like, no, enough is enough. I gave, it's like literally divine gave this person chances after chance after chance to heal something, to make amends with you, to fix a situation, to grow up. This person refused to grow up. So now divine put out this call for Saturn's return for this person. This is going to happen this year, as a matter of fact. Well, I'm going to say whenever you see this. But I'm saying this year because we are in the year of eight, okay? So this is about karma. This year is about karma. Someone could be born August. Someone could have a lot of eights in their birthday. Someone's life path could be eight. Yeah, angelic support is under the deck. Harmonized gifts, perfect flow, enriches, eases benefits. Wow, didn't I say I heard Gabriel's horn? There's an angel blowing a horn. Yeah, this is divine orders. God got tired of you, like this person breaking your heart. You like you're crying. You're like such a healer. You're so loving. Like you have a pure heart. Like literally the injustice that this person did to you was just outrageous. It just didn't make no sense. You guys could be purging and healing from this heartbreak from this situation. Right now, y'all healing your wounds right now. So um, literally angels were sent, were sent in. Angelic support was sent in. Literally, to take this person through hell. Literally, this person's gonna go through hell. They're gonna go through hell, collective. Yeah, something dealing with the feminine empowerment union enhances, merges, allies, strengthens, joins forces, intensities, and activates. This person was supposed to join forces with you. Y'all was supposed to work together with this person in some type of partnership, some type of relationship. Y'all was supposed to work together. This person refused to work together with you, even though they were contracted to join forces with you in this lifetime. This was a very intense spiritual connection, a very passionate, intense. You love this person so much. Yeah, you did. That's why it hurt so bad. Mercury, awareness, conjunction, writing, news. Y'all gonna get news of this. Whatever this person's karma is gonna be, you're gonna hear about it. You're about to get news of somebody's Saturn return or somebody's somebody paying their karmic dues. Yeah. Thank you. Seventh house, marriage, relationships, um, equality, business partners, true love, justice, friendship, rivals, enemies, and contracts. What I say? Didn't I say you guys were contracted to, to come together in this lifetime? 
whether this was marriage, friendship, business. Like, I'm sorry. I low-key think this, look, true love. I think this was supposed to be like your, this could be like a divine partnership. This person became your rival, your enemy. Instead of your friend, your lover. You guys are equal. This person did not view you as their equal. But you guys are equal. Especially if this is your twin flame, this is your equal. You are this person's equal. They just were they they hated they hated to feel feel that way. This person, I can't even get the shit out. This is somebody who thinks like if this is a man, this person thinks that they're better than you because they're a man and that you're beneath them because you're like a woman with this feminine energy here. But you got the divine wound. This person ain't gonna have nothing without you because everybody knows that the wound, the one that holds the divine wound is the manifester. This person was going to like, you were going to manifest this person's dreams into reality for them. They blew it. So they, they probably went and got with somebody else. And yeah, this person may have a wound, but the wound is karmic and toxic. So they're not able to manifest anything. Whoever you are, you have a sacred wound energy. You are the, the divine mother. I'm talking to like a divine mother energy. This y'all was supposed to come together. And if you are a guy, you just you you hold like a mothering type of energy. Y'all was supposed to come together in marriage. This person, they hate, they hated the fact that you viewed yourself as their equal. But honestly, you are this person's equal. Well, you used to be, but you you outgrew this person. This person was supposed to grow with you. This person is actually beneath you now. You guys are there. They are vibrationally beneath you. You guys ascended past your own twin. Wow. Yeah. This person did not want to view you as their equal. Yeah. Full moon. Feminine energy. Like I said, I'm talking to a divine feminine. Like I said, Harvest endeavors, a time to harvest intentions, wishes, and past moons. Past moons to me is giving past lives. This person did the wrong things to you in previous lifetimes, y'all. Something about the full moon is significant for sure. I heard talking to the moon. Oh, oh. Trying to get to you. Oh, oh, oh. This person be talking to the moon. I heard howling at the moon. So you guys are connected. Like the moon connects y'all. Or maybe the feminine energy. You're, you're like a moon goddess. And this could be like a sun energy. You know, masculine energy. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Y'all in separation. For me to channel talking to the moon. Talking to the moon. Trying to, this person's trying to get to you spiritually. Even though their physical self still, it's like their physical self isn't doing anything or they're doing the complete opposite. This person's spiritual self is throwing a fit. This person energetically is trying to get to you, but they can't until they until they're okay. You guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this reading up because when I tell you something or do not want this energy to get out to y'all and I want this to get out to y'all, like I've literally changed devices twice and it did the same thing or whatever. So let me help and get this out for you guys. All right. So I don't even really remember exactly where I stopped at, but I do know one thing. Whoever this person is cannot come back to you until they have cleared out this karma. And this person has racked up so much karma collective. They got to pay. I heard you got to pay what you owe. Y'all remember on Boondocks, was it Riley when he say when he was mad with Santa because Santa never delivered whatever he promised or whatever. You got to pay what you owe. This person got to pay what they owe. And I feel like this person owe karma. They owe the universe some karma for how they betrayed you, what they did to you, what they did to you and other people. But specifically, I ain't lying. You, you're, you're the, you're the one that's going to make sure that everybody else 
get they lick back too. Like you're getting the lick back for everybody. Okay. <laughs> for everybody. So what more do we need to know? Thank you. Waning moon surrender. Yeah. Reciprocate rest. It's okay to feel empty. Sometimes some of you guys, you maybe could have been feeling a little empty. You know, like this person really took a lot out of you guys. You guys were kind of forced by the universe to surrender. Like you tried to control the situation, control the narrative, control when this person come back, control, control, control. You cannot. You, it's like you guys were forced to completely and fully surrender to what happened and what's going to be and literally let the, I'm hearing the powers that be take care of this situation for you. God, take care of this situation for you. Your ancestors take care of the situation for you. You guys were pretty much forced by the universe to surrender. Okay. And I'm just going to be honest with you. You felt like you had to force this person to reciprocate the love that you had already given them, which would make them a spiritual thief. This person stole from you energetically. They stole your energy. If you do, if you give and give and give to somebody and they take everything from you, all your energy, all your love, all your time, and they refuse to give do this person, this that's stealing. The universe looks at this person like they are a spiritual thief. I heard the universe is most wanted. This person is literally most wanted by um by divine. Um, okay. Like <laughs> this person had a bounty on their head for something that they did to you. Literally, and this person was forced to surrender. Yeah. Trying brings luck, flow, talent, indulges, effortless harmony, eases, lazy, eases, lazy energy, no friction, benefits. So y'all may have some something's coming back to you. So whatever this person stole from you, because I just saw three, three, three. If this person energetically stole something from you that blocked your blessing or something like that because they were using it for themselves. This is coming back full circle. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen easily. So what, because this is owed to you, you're not going to have to work hard to get this blessing because this person stole it. They did something to energetically like transfer some wealth or something. Yeah. Or they did something to like delay you so that ultimately you would miss out on blessings and opportunity. So when as the universe is balancing the scales out, getting this energy, getting this luck, this fortune back to you that this person could have stole from you guys energetically. You're not going to have to work hard for it because it's owed to you. It's, it's owed to you. Yeah. Tell me more. You're meant to fulfill your divine contract. Just like I said, you guys are meant to fulfill this divine contract in this lifetime. And this person was one of those energies that was trying to block you. Unfortunately, this could have been your twin flame or someone who you thought was your twin flame. But I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest. This person was meant to fulfill a contract as well. For those of you guys who you're, those of you guys who this was your divine counterpart, they were meant to fulfill some type of contract with you and their luck, their abundance, their blessings was depending on this person getting in this contract with you because whoever you are, you're going to have this anyway. You're going to have this luck, this abundance, growth, success, fulfillment, happiness. You're going to get to travel the world and effort easily. Like, all right, like. You're going to get to have this divine Jupiter energy here, this luck, this abundance, this grand trying energy, this trying energy. And it's and, and you're not going to have to work hard for this because it's a part of your contract. But this person was only going to get this energy had they fulfilled the contract with you. That's what I'm trying to say. But since this person refused and did some things energetically and spiritually to block your blessing or to stop you from being seen or to dim your light or to change your appearance or this person was a spiritual thief. The universe is forcing this coward to surrender. They're going to lose it all. This person may be a, a, a beggar on the side of the road. Just so you know, 
just so you know, for some of y'all, you're going to see this person in a position that you never thought you would see them in. You're going to feel bad for this person. Look at that. Cause this person has been in their South node. They're karmic. Even if they are not like this person could be like a divine feminine or a divine masculine, but this person was behaving like a karmic, like maybe they reincarnated as a karmic energy in their South node as, as us all collective, but some of us are contracted to be in our North node. You put the work in to be in your North node. This person stayed in karmic energy. Therefore, they still owe debt. They still owe debt from past lives. They did. They was a shitty person in past lives too. Just so you know, they were shitty in a past life. Yeah. Under the deck, Saturn. Saturn is here twice. Saturn is wearing. Listen, something about Saturn is finna wear this person out. Ooh. Put them on their tail. All right. This is going to make this person grow the hell up. If they make it through this. If they make it through whatever this is that Saturn is about to do to them. This karmic lesson is about to do to them. Yeah. This, this, this person is about to be tested. The test of all tests. Your guides are helping you as well. Your spirit guides are helping, helping you. you. Your spirit guides are helping you guys as well. Astrological transits favor you at this time. I'm telling you like the planets are aligned to bless you because you deserve it. The planets are aligned to take everything from this person and to like put them on their ass, put them back at ground zero because this person needed a, their ego checked. This person's about to lose it all. I heard they're not going to have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. They are about to lose everything. Everything, everything. I'm serious. I see this person being homeless. I see this person losing friends, family, like people transitioning. You know, like this person is finna be, some of y'all, their health. Something's going to happen. This person's not going to be able to work for real. I don't know how this is going to happen, y'all, but I see this person losing everything. Saturn is here twice. Saturn return and Saturn, literally, the universe is not playing with this person at all. I heard payback is a motherfucker. Oh my God. Literally, the universe is finna get your lick back. Um, and your lick back and everybody else lick back. But you were the catalyst to this spiritual spanking that this person's about to receive. Yeah. Fifth house energy here, love affairs, romance, play, party, creativity. So something dealing with love. Maybe you had a romantic connection with this person. You guys were supposed to be romantically involved, but this person betrayed you. I heard they didn't, they didn't want nothing to do with you after they got what they wanted from you, but they were actually contracted to be with you and work with you. And this person's abundance and their, their blessings and their peace of mind was depending on this. They didn't know. This person actually, they thought they were hurting you and playing you. This person played themselves out of their own abundance and their blessings. Their abundance is tied to you. Your, their purpose is tied to you. Yeah, 12th house energy here. You guys are literally like earth angels. You were contracted to help this person heal, but they refused it. They refused it. Virgo energy is here. You guys could be powerful alchemists. It says witchy, analytical, perfection, perfectionist. You could be a Virgo, but you guys could be just really, really great alchemists. You're really good at your craft. Third eye and you intuitive as hell. You guys are intuitive. Wisdom, intuition, psychic abilities. Oh, you guys are powerhouses. Spiritual insight, air sign energy. I heard telekinesis telepathy or something like that you guys can like some of y'all can read people's minds or you can pick up like literally what a person want to say and they don't say some of y'all can out here reading minds yeah you literally can communicate with people through the airways yeah mutable goes with the flow yeah you guys were, were just put in a position to go with the flow that's all y'all been doing. Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, and Gemini's here. You guys were called to go with the flow for real. Be open-minded. Focus on your craft. Focus on your, 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 your mission. 
Focus on your mission, collective. But I'm telling you, this is going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, oh, my God. When you hear about what the, what's, what's going on with this person, when you hear about it, it's going to scare you. Yeah, Capricorn energy here. Ambitious, serious, shrewd, practical, resourceful, hardworking. You guys are you guys are being called to focus on your money, Capricorn energy here. Be more disciplined. Yeah, something is going to go on this retrograde for some of you guys with this person or you. Somebody's getting like a um, I heard that a double whammy like literally your your gifts are about to be amplified crown chakra energy y'all about to be receiving a lot of downloads this retrograde a lot of spiritual communication from higher realms divine connection universal oneness wisdom of source spiritual awakening here for some of y'all this person may may actually get their awakening um during this retrograde but there's they still going to go through this karma or whatever's gonna what whatever's gonna trigger their awakening is gonna happen this retrograde. Yeah, partners, companionship, marriage, best friends, justice, social, social awareness, contracts, union, equilibrium, and sharing. Seven energy is here. This is about balance, justice. Some of y'all feel like this this union, this this connection was stolen from you. Spell work could have been involved. Yeah, some of y'all have some type of spiritual insight on why this did not work out. But this person still, they got to pay. They got to, they could have collaborated with somebody else, a lower vibrational witch to um come up against you or something like that. They got to pay, both of them, both of them. Both of them about to be out on their ass in the streets. Yeah. I just saw blood magic, but it says blood moon. But in my third eye, I saw blood magic. Somebody could have did something with the moons for real and blood to like bring, try to bring in some type of endings in an earth angel's life. But this destruction that these people are about to experience is going to be unexpected. This is the reset. Divine is about to hit the reset on this, on this person. I almost said on this masculine could be a feminine. But divine is about to hit the ultimate reset on this person. They're never going to see this shit coming. Uh, I'm hearing like a purge. This is going to force them to grow up mentally, physically, and spiritually, and emotionally. In every way. This is going to be a total unexpected situation for this person. There, there may be some blood shed. I'm just going to so y'all know. Okay. I heard cry me a river. Yeah, literally spirit is like, oh, well, cries the river because we were patient with they we were patient with this person. They were patient with this person. God was patient with this person. Somebody could have did some blood magic. If it wasn't them, it could have been somebody that's connected to them, like a karmic energy here. Somebody in their tribe and their friend group or something like that. There will be there will be blood shed, though. For real, you guys are very much protected. I heard you guys are angelic beings. That's why you're so insightful. You guys are not ordinary. Somebody could have did something to try to affect your health. Aquarius keeps coming out. I'm telling you, some, for somebody in Aquarius, I don't know if you dealing with an Aquarius, but they about to lose everything. Yes, yeah, this Aquarius about to be put on a whole ass. But this is going to be the most humbling experience for them because they need it. Yeah. Earth energy here could be an earth sign as well. Whoever this person is, they could be extremely materialistic. And this is why, like, you know, they didn't value feelings or nothing like that. Look at that. It's, don't they look like blood? Somebody did some blood magic for real. This bitch was competing with you. Somebody is mad because they can't compete with you. Y'all, I think there's a karmic tie to an Aquarius or an earth sign energy, an air sign or an earth sign or a fire sign. 